Today I'm going to make a lazy Susan. So I've cut out this circle. Now I'm just going to mark it there. So now we're just measuring out the both sides of the lazy susan because there's going to be the middle section which i just cut and then two sides and then in that there'll be epoxy almost like a river running in between it so i'm just marking it out here and now i'm going to cut it okay so i'm going to try and cut this across here i don't know if i'll be able to do it it's going to be quite hard to cut it across there completely straight but hopefully it works so I'll get straight into cutting. Now I'm just going to cut across this line. I'm doing this at night time and it is working quite well. The, I'm just cutting out the corners using my coping saw. The coping saw comes in very handy to cut around corners and things. If you haven't already, please subscribe and ring the notification button. So off camera, I made this um, clay mold and I put the pieces of wood inside of it. I want to put a thin layer of epoxy underneath it just like to seal it and then I'm going to put the layer of epoxy up. So let's mix some epoxy and pop it on the bottom. I do not know why I wasn't recording that. That would have been a really good footage and I should have shown me putting it in but I didn't record it for some weird reason. So right now I'm just mixing up some epoxy. I'm just putting a really thin layer on the bottom so it can seal the bottom and then when I put the thick layer it won't like get all the um, epoxy won't soak into the clay and it doesn't leak and stuff like that so I'm just putting a nice thin little layer on the bottom. Okay so the first layer has um, is ready to um, pretty much dry so it's ready to pour the other layer the full layer this time so I want to mix up um, my epoxy plop in some blue dye and hope it works well So it's been a long time, now I'm just going to move it outside and take the mould off. And when I say take off the mould, I mean just basically bash off the mould. You can't use clay twice, which is a bit of a shame, but anyway. So, as you can see, it did leak out a little bit onto the piece of plywood, but that's okay. It didn't leak out too much, and it seems like I can just turn it down, and it will turn out okay. And the reason why I put mud on the bottom of it is because so it doesn't leak and I can just bang it off. I found the center, well my mum found the center of it, now she's just marking a little hole there. And this is the back, it looks horrible because I put a thin layer on it and then it all went underneath it, but I can easily lay that off. And then I'm just gonna put a dot right there. Okay, now it's ready to go on the blade. I've got it on both sides, that side and that side. 
So now I'm going to attach this onto my leg. So I've got it attached onto my lathe. Well, it's at the maximum like whip that it can actually turn, and it's quite terrifying because I do not want that to fly off the lathe and hit me. Well, if it does, hopefully I'll get it on film. <laughs> so let's do some whip turning. Now I'm just getting it down to rounds and just getting off all the dirt and epoxy on the bottom and the top. So it is now time to varnish the top of it. The top of the lazy series is on here, the bottom's down here. So I'm gonna use some plywood for that. So let's cut it out. I cut myself a little bit using the saw. Now we're just finding the center of the lazy Susan to see where it will get glued on and if it's not 100% correct then the whole thing will just wobble around. So I'm now going to glue this on to this with some epoxy. When I do epoxy pores I always put it in here a lot and the, it's starting to build up so eventually when it goes to the very top I think I'm gonna maybe wood turn it and make something nice out of it well I'm gonna pour some epoxy in Now I just need to wait for this to dry. It is now done. It looks really cool. If it ever um, stops spinning properly, just put some WD-40 in and it works better. But I've also got something to confess. Our family completely loves sauces, so this is going to be perfect for all the sauces. I'll show you what I mean when I say we've got lots of sauces. And basically the last three is honey, mustard, tomato ketchup, syrup, and last but not least, tomato sauce. So now we have something to store all our sauces on. So if we want a sauce that's over here, we just need to twist the lady to them. And then we've got that sauce. So hopefully you liked the video of me making the Lazy Susan. Next week I'm going to try and challenge myself and make a um, Whitworth's Carver's Mallet in less than 25 minutes. So let's do that next week. So bye.